Episode 30 of Boom Boonja has taken a massive turn. The episode is called Driving Mad Is My Thing and it starts off with Taya and Ishiro very suspicious of Mad Rex. They can clearly see that something isn't right with him from the last time they fought. We then get a flashback of Decatrade, Itasha and Yaraka before they came to Earth and they were about to get borderline destroyed by some aliens but Mad Rex steps in and saves them and that's how they ended up basically teaming up to begin with. And even though they're the villains, it comes to sort of a really sort of nice present day moment of them basically saying, this race has got him under control. We need to try and save him, which I know is sort of like, like they're not good, but it's kind of, they're kind of doing the right thing within that, you get what I mean? So what is their plan to save Mad Rex? Basically, they bring him out of the base and say, we're going to take him for some food. And they put on the Boom Boonja masks from eight episodes ago and try to jog his memory with the Boom Boonjas. Now, for starters, this roll call is the funniest thing ever because I don't think we got the full roll call like this when they did it last time. And like the off-brand font and everything. I love that sort of on-the-nose tomfoolery. It's incredible. Now, Mad Rex does see the Boon Red mask and sort of wakes up a little bit, but they still can't really get through to him because of the spell that Disrace has put on him. They end up using the sort of killer evil Boon Changer to contact the Boon Boongers and say, we'd like you to deliver something for us. Can you come pick it up? And they do. And Tyre shows up to the Hush Aliens and Mad Rex. Mad Rex sees Tyre and doesn't bat an eyelid. And Tyre's like, he kind of gets it. He's like, you're clearly under the control of Disrace. Like, I get it now. Disrace can't be fooled. And he's just watching all this play out on like his little magical board. And he basically sets another spell on Mad Rex to attack the Boon Boongers. So he sees Tyre and instantly it is game on, which leads to like the cleanest quick morph I think I've ever seen in this show. And the fight begins. The other Boon Boongers try to run to Tyre's aid, but the killer Robo is summoned. Of course, the Boon Boongers whip out their Boon cars to try and take it on. And Yarokar just swipes them up. So now we have the killer Robo with like the police car and the, the, the purple Boon car attached to it like they straight up just stole the bune cars so naturally they are breaking it but of course they have many other bune cars they can call upon and they go for the aquamarine uh, sort of formation now stakes are high the hash aliens have two bune cars under their control and mad rex and tire are going one-on-one -on -one. we're cutting back and forth and back and forth and back and forth until out of nowhere genba comes around the corner we see the return of bune 119 which low-key i'm quite happy about because i said that they were overusing it but for the last few episodes we haven't really seen it and you know facing off against mad rex like that is no better time than to whip up the 119 power up in my opinion now genba tries to help Tyre, but sakato gets in his way now i don't really know why but i think it's along the lines of him basically saying like this is his fight let him fight it and genba's like no like we need to do something about this but genba's like move out your way you're nothing but a cleaner come on and sakato is absolutely not so the both of them henching right they both turn into bune violet and bune orange and they just start fighting each other. Now we're cutting between fight one, fight two, fight three, fight one, fight two, fight three. And I'm just sat here thinking, what is going on? This episode seemed like it might have been one of the tamest. And all of a sudden we're getting like the most action in one like localized spot that I've ever seen in this show. And can I just say, the killer robo is doing bits to the point where they're literally smashing off some of the additional cars. Now, Ishiro does call for some reinforcements with the Boom Boom Robo Knight formation, and they are able to get the final strike on the Killer Robo and regain their Boom cars. And then we get this shot of Boom Dario looking down into the warehouse they're in as, like, the giant robo that he is. And Mad Rex takes one look at him, and all of a sudden, all the memories flash back, and he looks back at Tyre and says his name. Mad Rex begins to realize he was being brainwashed before just disappearing into a ball of light. Then returning to Sakato and Genba, they realize that Mad Rex is gone and therefore Genba has no reason to be there. So he just shoots off. And I think maybe at that point, I kind of get why Sakato did it. He's like, it was just for selfish reasons why he was there. Like he just wanted to get to Mad Rex so that he could then get to Disrace. But I, I don't know, man. That was a bit, bit of a dick move on Sakato's behalf. So Mad Rex returns to Disrace and he's seemingly back under his control. And like, Decatrade and Natasha are genuinely heartbroken about this. But then the dog on Madrex's arm makes a couple of noises and Madrex turns his head slightly and they don't really pay attention to it. But I wonder if this means maybe he's not fully under Disrace's control again. Maybe he's just posing as that as a part of a bigger plan. I don't know. I'm interested to see where that might go. I think Mad Rex might be hiding something. This episode was insane. I genuinely don't think Boon Boon just given us like a series of fights that intense that it's like cutting between action, 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 action. And also just the Rangers getting an absolute whooping from the Hash Aliens. Like there's been some close calls, 
but this was ridiculous. Genba's still acting as a lone wolf, and I wonder how long it'll be until he potentially rejoins them. And even though I kind of want everybody to be on the same team again, did really enjoy the Ranger versus Ranger stuff. And I think, I'd, you know, I wouldn't mind seeing a bit more of that. It was cool when we added with Sakato and Tyra a few episodes ago. I'd love to see a bit more of that, I think. And yeah, just Mad Rex and Disrace. Again, I still don't think Disrace is like the top dog commander um, of the Hashalians. Maybe he is, but I don't think we ever got that answer. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say he isn't. We only have like an average of 20 episodes left of Bium Bunja. I know some seasons are about 47 episodes. I know some can go up to about 52, 53, but we're in like the final stretch and we're in the third lap of Bium Bunja, obviously. I don't know if there's gonna be a fourth lap. I don't know how that works. Maybe I'll, I'll do a bit of research after this video, but I'm really looking forward to see what's to come. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below your thoughts. The last Bium Bunja video we did is literally the most viewed Bium Bunja video on the channel. So thank you guys so much for all the love and i've been enjoying replying to you guys in the comments so if you have anything to say to me at all let me know i have been doing some videos on common rider gavi if you guys want to check those out along with just general power rangers and super sentai videos every week anyway so if you like this video and you like the channel there's plenty more to look at thanks again i'll see you soon